Welcome guys to Minecraft Survival 1.14. I'm Concat88 and today we're going to be starting our survival journey here in Minecraft 1.14. As you can see, uh, I've done quite a bit of uh, looking at seeds before we get started here. I found a really cool seed where we start off here right next to whole reef biome. And if we take a look in front of us here, we have a mega taiga biome. Uh, since they just re redid taiga, I really wanted to start out near a taiga biome, and a mega taiga is really interesting just with uh, how it looks, and uh, it's where I want to build uh, to start off this series, so we're going to be doing that. We have uh, our work cut out for us. We have no resources. We had our bonus chest. We got a few, uh, a few items here to help us out to start off with. We need to do some resource collection. That might help out over there. We've got a sunken ship you can just barely make off in the distance um so i think what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and chop some trees down and get our bed set up um, do some resource collection and get started all right so we're here uh at our first sunken ship let's go ahead and see what we can get with the uh, with the loot here um, before we do that, maybe we should craft up a Dude, one more. If we craft up a door, we can have an air pocket down there so we won't drown here huh. at the beginning of the very first episode. I'd like to make it to the dragon without dying, so see how we can get off the boat. There we go. And we'll come down here, place our door down. Right here. There we go. Catch our breath. And we should have two loot chests. I know you can get diamonds here in a Sunken Ship, so maybe we can find some diamonds. Maybe we can find some bamboo. I don't know where we'll find. Oh, geez, yes. There we go. Lots of iron. Definitely need that. And some lapis always helps. I don't know if we'll get to that today for enchanting, but... Oh, get out of here. Oh, that was close. Yeah, so Minecraft is hard. Let's see how long we can go without dying. Uh, have one more chest, maybe down here. Yep, there it is. And we got a little bit of food. Probably leave the poisonous potatoes. I don't know if they have any use. Go ahead and make our way back up to the surface. Not a bad haul. So what we need to do now is we need to find, oh, first, I think we need to go get some dark oak. We're going to need that for our, our starter base. I want to use some dark oak to, to decorate it. And then I think we'll um, sail off back in the distance there to our Mega Taiga biome and find our starter base. Well, we're back here sailing around our uh, Mega Taiga biome and we found their sunken ship. Let's see if we can get some better resources. Oh. And these puffer fish are, are deadly out here. So, uh, let's see if we can get maybe some diamonds. That'd be really nice. Uh, I know you can find bamboo in here. I have no idea where we're going to find a jungle to be able to get that, um, to get some new 1 foot 14 stuff. Oh. If we can get some oh, food. Oh. Aqua affinity helmet. Nice. That should help out. Maybe we won't need our doors now. And let's see what we have in the other chest. Maybe, maybe we'll get the some precious resources in here. Reach it. No, there we go. Yeah, more iron. Not bad. Tiny bit of gold and lapis. Oh, geez. Get up to the surface. All right. So now we've got enough resources to get started. I think we can uh, build some tools. Uh, upgrade from our stone and now it's time to um, plop down a starter base to put some of our stuff we're starting to accumulate quite a bit in our inventory so let's get uh, let's get our location picked out I think we're gonna go ahead and and start on top of that hill that way mobs can't drop down on you so I like to build my starter bases somewhere up higher um, so we'll go ahead and get chopping some trees down and get started on our starter base in the mood for chicken I 
And some more chicken. And some more chicken. Looks like the wolves killed this one for me. Oh, and berry bushes. Get some of those. Uh, berry bushes can be a pretty good food source at the beginning. It grows so quickly. Um, go ahead and we'll try that out. We've never used it as a food source before. So we'll go ahead and give it a test run here um, for our survival world. Welcome back guys, we're about ready to get started with our uh, base belt here. Before we do, let's go ahead and options, difficulty, hard, because why not? Let's make this a little more challenging of a, of a series here. Um, the game can be plenty easy if you uh, don't put it on hard. So uh, what we have here is a chest of resources we're gonna go ahead and pull out. We're gonna go ahead and make a Minecraft tree. We're gonna try to make it look as vanilla as possible, but hide our base inside. As you can see, our, our food farm here is doing well. Our berry bushes are, are gonna, gonna work out for us. We've got plenty of food. We're not gonna starve anytime soon. But uh, we've, got our, we've got our resources. Let's go ahead and build our tree up. We're gonna build it 32 blocks tall. Um, I believe a standard mega tree is around 20-ish uh, blocks. So this will make it look about the same height as a normal spruce tree but it'll be further away so that way maybe you won't be able to tell that it's not really spruce tree so let's go ahead and start placing all of these down All right, I think that should be tall enough. You had a pretty good view up this high. Now it's time to put the leaves on. Let's come out four blocks in each direction. Okay, this is gonna be the size of our base. Now what we need is to go up uh, three. We'll go around two first. Uh, now we need to go ahead and figure out what we're going to do to make the top of it here, to make it look as uh, realistic as possible. We'll go ahead and tap off the first layer of leaf there. Do we have any dirt on us? Let's go ahead and put some temporary blocks down. We need to come up two more. Around the whole thing, so let's go ahead 
and get that done. Okay, let's add the top. I think if we just make it two blocks tall, I think that should do it. Okay, now let's go ahead and see what that looks like. Let's go ahead and jump down. And pillar up and take a look at it. Let's look at it from the ground first. Hmm, a better view uh, from over over here. He will pillar up, take a look at it. Yeah, I think that'll do. I think uh once we get done decorating the inside of it, you won't be able to see through it. Um, see, I think it'll look something like that from a distance. So just a normal tree. You wouldn't be able to tell it was here, and we'll clean up um, our berry bush mess down there at the bottom. Berry bushes have been doing all right for a food source um, so far. We'll see how that continues here. We just started using it, so. Well, I think that should be enough. Um, for our base to start with what we need to do is decorate the interior. That's why we got our dark oak So let's go ahead and make a ladder. We'll pull her up and start decorating the inside uh, of our starter base So we're back here and we are uh, done doing some um, Beginning touches on uh, on our base here. So let's go ahead and check it out Now we're gonna have to do something about this ladder. I don't think I can Handle climbing up this ladder too many times, but uh, we need some redstone resources to be able to do that So I think we're gonna go uh, Mining here in just a second, but let's go ahead and come up here We'll view the inside of our tree. We've got a valuable chest. Yeah, that's all we have um, And then just some general storage food Wood blocks. Yeah, that's that's all we have so uh, I think this is a good start um, For a beginner base. I'd like to move my bed somewhere, but can't place beds on leaves, so I might have to find a better place to put that so you can't see it from below. Well, let's go ahead and gather a few more resources. We're gonna go ahead and find a spot and start our first mine and uh, hopefully get some diamonds, um, some redstone, or a um, quick project here on our starter base to be able to make it a little easier to get up and down, maybe a bubble column. Um, see if we have time for that. Let's go ahead and make our exit from here and get started. Uh, on our starter mine. All right, guys, we're here munching on some berries and looking at our our tree. I think it's I think it's a bit off. I think we need to make the second and third tier of leaves a taller. Maybe take the first tier down one notch, and maybe that'll make it more gradual, uh, like some of our other trees in the background. It's too short on top, but we'll fix that later. Let's go ahead and uh, get our mine on real quick. We're gonna go ahead and. Come on down here and we picked out a spot right over here in the water now if you start your mine in the water when you come up at night there's gonna be mobs around but if you have water they're not gonna be forming our area right around here so I think we'll go ahead and uh, be a little cautious here trying not to die again and we'll um, go ahead and dig on down so let's go ahead and dig on down here together maybe we can get lucky and not fall into a bunch of caves that'd be nice I don't know what everybody else does for, uh, you know, for mining. I like to just dig straight down. We'll put a ladder up, um, easy way in and out. Did I grab my water bucket with me? Did, good. Very important. Ooh, grab some iron along the way, why not? Uh, and then when I get down to the bottom, I just like to get to level 11 and dig in one direction. Uh, that way you reveal the most blocks uh, with each, with each um, swing of the pickaxe. And it's a really efficient way to just get some, some resources really quickly. 
But let's go ahead and finish getting this and we'll go ahead and we can get all the way down to the bottom. Where was our hole? Here it is. Let's go ahead and torch this up just in case. And we'll dig down and see if we can get all the way down to level 11 without running into any caves. All right, success, level 11. Uh, we got pretty lucky not to get into either one of these lava pits. Well, we've got our way up. Let's go ahead and let's just dig this way. I'm gonna go ahead and dig my uh, two by two or two by one hole here and see if we can get more iron, get some armor, uh, get some diamonds. Um, so that way we can do some enchanting uh, soon. And then just get some, uh, some redstone and all that alike. Usually what I do is dig in a straight line, I don't worry about getting anything on the way through it. And then on the way back, when I come back, I get all the all the resources. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep swinging my pickaxe down here, and uh, I'll be back with you in just a moment. What up, guys? We're down here in our mine. We've been mining for about an hour, and let's go ahead and take a look at what we've collected here. We've got a bunch of redstone, we've got a bunch of coal, we got enough iron for suit of armor so now we can be protected from from all the uh the mobs out there in our hard survival world uh but i think we're gonna go and wrap up our mining session for now i can't believe we didn't find any diamonds i went through like six iron pickaxes maybe seven iron picks act pack pickaxes these and uh didn't find any uh that's very unfortunate um so maybe we'll have better luck next time maybe somebody can figure out the odds of mining for an hour and not finding any diamonds You'll have to let me know. Well, let's go ahead and make our way back up. Well, thanks for joining us, guys, for our first episode here in Minecraft 1.14 Survival. This is Concac88, and if you enjoyed our tree building and uh, the start of our survival series here, go ahead and slap that like button. Uh, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this, and go ahead and leave a comment if you think you can uh, help me improve our tree base there. Um, I'm thinking we probably need to extend our second and third tier tree levels. Um, we have some improvements we can make in the inside but we needed some of those beginning resources that we worked on today hopefully in the next episode we can get some diamonds go to the nether and wrap up some redstone projects to finish our starter base and uh, move on to some more fun projects like automation with redstone um, that we're going to be doing here um, in this series i'd like to do as much automation as possible so if this is content you guys want to see and you guys want to see more episodes like that go ahead and tune in next time thanks for joining guys peace out